Hello everyone. In this video, we will walk through the entire process of creating a data science project from data scraping to machine learning model. We will work on unpaid data that contains the results of water samples for various types of tests, like pH, temperature, and others. The data is uploaded to the website. It consists of 20 files, of each which contains over 1 million rows and represent a year, as you see here. As you see, the schema of the data is divided to different columns. For example, here we have the sample point notation, the label, the date time, and the determinant label, which means like the test name and the definition. And we have here the results and other stuff. Like if we see the database here, for example, here this is the ID of the location, this is the name or like uh, a description of the location, this is the time where we had our test. And uh, this is the label of uh, what we call the test, like here, there is a temperature water here, uh, and here we have uh, the results, and other, like here the unit of the, the label, and other columns that represent other data, like for example here, is it, is it like a river, or just like a simple surface of the water? So our goal is to take one of those tests and apply an EDA and machine learning model to it. To begin, I considered creating a data warehouse and I end up by making this model that contains three dimensions and one fact table. So as you see, we in the dimension of the location, like here we have a surrogate key, location key, and we have the location ID, and we have the area, which is the name of the place, sub area, latitude and longitude, and we have the type the uh, location water and for the dimension water sensor we have the sensor key as a surrogate key for the data warehouse we have a sensor name here and we have a sensor definition the sensor name is going to play the role of the what we call it uh, the reference key for updating the, the dimension and finally we have the dimension time here we have the date key which is the surrogate key we have the date and we have the day and month and year and for the fact table here we have the three surrogate key from our dimensions and we have two measures we have the number of the measurement like the number of the test in the day for a specific uh, type of test and type of sensor mean and location at date and we have the average or result of that before beginning to implement the data warehouse with name I discovered that the location dimension is missing some data, such as longitude, latitude, and the area name and sub area. But it wasn't a big deal because the information was available on the website. So, returning to the website here, we go to explore here. And here, in simple import name or ID, we type the ID of the water location. And here, we find simple points. It's gonna have like a result here, the name. So, this is the name of the location. The location area and here the type of the uh, water is it like a, a river or something like, uh, something else and here if we go to view it's gonna give us like a whole description of the location where we can scrub the data and save it in our database so i began to write scraping code in python using scrapy the concept is simple each water location has an id which is used as a link slug. I use Nim to generate these IDs. First, I use a CSV reader components to load the CSV files, then the duplicate row filter components to get the unique IDs, and finally a concatenation component to combine the two files into one result. So I obtain all of the water's IDs and use them in my crawler. After an hour, all the data is saved in a CSV file. So in the following videos, we will look at how to build a data warehouse pipeline and what the advantages and disadvantages using them as a tool for doing so are. 